Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing The Suffering, level 18, Single Bullet Theory. Continuing where we left off, we've been outside and have been heading toward the lighthouse. Along the way, battling tons of marksmen. As you can see, it's really dark in this cave. So very important that you stocked up on flashlight batteries. Now this path on the right... So it leads us back outside. And over here we can stock up on some flashlight batteries if you need it. Which is going to be crucial in this dark cave. And some ammo. So now we're going to go back into the cave. Now we need to make our way around the cave until we see this light over here. This is how you know you're going the right way. Keep an eye out for flares. Fucking pigs! Okay, here's a fester, so use your Molotov cocktails if you have them. Okay, I can hear another one. There he is. Again, try to follow the flares. That will help guide you in the right direction. Oh, that was close. This nooseman almost grabbed me. So yeah, watch above you too. Step to your grave, motherfucker! Now, as you can see, that guy is still throwing dynamite at us, so be careful. Now, if you go straight through here, here's some grenades to pick up. And if you continue ahead, you'll reach a dead end. Where you can watch this guy get lit on fire by that little girl. Now, if you just wait a little bit, some marksmen will show up. Now you can fight them if you want by throwing grenades through this little opening. Just be very careful because if you miss that opening, it will bounce the grenade toward you and you will take a lot of damage. So it's up to you if you want to kill these marksmen or not, you don't really have to. Okay, see how I didn't get the grenade right through that opening just right? So what you need to do is climb up here where the dynamite came from.
Watch out for this new spin. Now we need to jump over here. Here we reach a checkpoint. Okay, I can hear some slayers. And a fester. You couldn't save Cory and Malcolm from the fire. They're with us now. So here's those little girls again. Word is Bond! I'll fuck you up! And there's that guy throwing dynamite again. Now what you need to do is climb up here. Here we will unlock a new archive page and collect this diary entry. So let's look at the archive page first. World War II Fort. Built in 1942, Fort Malison served as both coastal defense facility and POW camp. The fort had some 250 men and held approximately 1,000 prisoners. The fort's most notorious story is of its colonel, who executed three of his men for treason because a German airplane crashed on the island. A subsequent court-martial found no evidence to justify these executions, and the colonel ended up taking his own life. Okay, let's take a look at that diary entry. Sadly, it's written in really bad cursive, so you really have to squint to try to read it. We need this translated to make it easier to read. So we need to go this way through this door. Now you can either open it like this and go through it, or you can go through the door in style by backing up and blowing up the gas canisters next to it to blow the door off. That's a much flashier way to do it. Now over here, there's another one of those explosive crates. Blocking a door. Now we can't go up here. So let's go ahead and blow up this crate, blocking this door. Now if you look, this door is much stronger. It withstood the blast. So let's go in here. What is this shit? Inquest, court martial, court martial. God damn it, old man. Those fuckers will never get me. So here's the colonel who took his own life. Is Malcolm there? Can he come out to play? What? Oh, that's terrible. We're so sorry to hear that. Can he play anyway? Okay, there's the guy that keeps throwing dynamite. So we're following after him. Now this can be a very brutal fight. So it's a good thing there's this machine gun here. This is very important. 
Now, if you go over here where the flare is, this is where the guy went through. The door is locked, so we can't follow after him. But over here, you can see a bunch of explosive crates next to the wall. So go ahead and back up and blow them up. This will blow a hole in the wall. However, this will get a bunch of marksmen and mainliners to spawn. So jump on this machine gun. The one problem is, as you can see, you don't even know where the enemies are because it's so dark in here. They really needed a light. Okay, there we go. That takes care of all the enemies. If you want, you could throw down some flares to try to give yourself some light to see them. You can pretty much tell where they are when they start shooting at you. So now let's go through this hole in the wall we made. Now, as you can see, the guy trapped himself in using dynamite. So now he's trapped. Anybody hear me? Hey, you! You gotta get me out of here! Fucker tried to kill you. He was confused. Leave him to rot. You gotta help him. Shit! I think I hear something coming. So we need to help this guy. The first thing we're gonna do is stock up on TNT, and then blow up this crate, just to get all these explosives out of the way. Don't want to accidentally blow myself up. Now I'm gonna switch to the TNT sticks, and we need to blow away these rocks. This can take a while, just keep throwing dynamite sticks over here. Okay, there we go. And that will break them apart Thanks, so we man. can help this guy. I would have gotten out of there myself, but you just sped the shit up. Hey, sorry about trying to blow you up back there, but I thought you were a hack. Look, I've been in Abbott too long, damn it. Look, I ain't going back. You feel me? Come on. We got to get to the lighthouse. You with me, dog? Clock's ticking. Okay, I'm coming. Look, it's right up here. Come on. Okay, now there's a newsman right here. You can see the blood on the ceiling. Clock's ticking. There he is. It's all good. I already took care of him. There's no need for him to you throw dynamite at me. So now you just want to follow this up? guy. Now we are trying to help him, so we need to protect him. Here we reach a checkpoint and get back outside. It's now there are two way. ways to go. You can go to the left following that guy or you can go to the right. Are you with me, dog? There are a bunch of enemies if you go to the right. 
So to help this guy, we're gonna play it safe and go to the left. Look, the lighthouse has a basement. It's like a bunker. Look, we can hold up there and wait until the dope wears off and these hacks are out of ammo. Look, it's tied up in these caverns, but I know all the shortcuts. People in this country could care less about what happens to us on the inside. We might as well be dead. Hell, they wish we were. Now these hacks are capping us and no one gives a damn. What's the hold up? It's right up here. Come on. Now here you can see some burrowers after him. Stay strong. You with me, dog? Okay, What's so the that's the up? right way to go. Up there. And good, he took care of the marksmen that were over here waiting. Okay, now before I follow after that guy into that cave, it's right up what I'm going to do is Come backtrack, on. and I'm going to go the other way, the way with all the enemies. You with me, dog? So if you want to avoid fighting all the enemies, just go this way with the guy. It's much easier. Now, the reason I went that way first is because that will get the guy waiting in the cave for you. This way he won't get dragged into the crossfire or anything when fighting all these enemies. So here we have some more slayers and burrowers to fight. I don't want to throw any dynamite because they're too close and I'll get caught blowing myself up. So I'm just trying to stick with the shotgun.
remember, you have to destroy their heads, otherwise they'll just keep getting up. Okay, that took care of all the enemies. Oh, nope, there's one left. Oh, I guess there was two. Okay, finally. Now what you need to do is go over to the rocks on the side and climb up. And then jump back over to the path we were on before. What's the hold up? And now we're back over here with that guy. It's so let's way. continue ahead. Clock's ticking. I'm coming. Uh oh, Newsman has him. Make, Make sure you free him. That was close. Clock's ticking. I'm it's this way. We have to wait here. As long as it takes. Are you with me, Those dog? Girls gonna find us? I don't think so. Are we gonna have enough air? There's plenty the of ventilation. Up? Calm down. What about food? It's I don't way. know. I think we should. Rhett. Yeah. When we run out of food, Clock's you're ticking. gonna be the first one we eat. It's right up here. Come on. What's the hold up? We're almost to the lighthouse. Come on. They're hallucinations. That's what's going on here. Hacks dope the food. Now we are tripping, seeing shit. They just killing us for sports. Fucking police. So as you can see, we have the good points for helping this guy. Clock's ticking. So make sure he's alive at the end. Here we reach a checkpoint. Sweet. This is it. We're set now. It's like a vault in here. Nothing can get in. Nothing. You say something? Yes. What was that? I think the dope's coming back. Breathe deep. <coughs> that smell! <coughs> what in the fuck's going on? That always feels good. He needed to go. He wasn't interesting enough. Not like you. You understand how it feels. He needed someone professional to pull the switch. A lot of eager sadists applied, but I was the only one who took the work seriously. So seriously, I wanted to taste the gas myself. That's what Conant does, it brings out the killer inside. It's the perfect place for you and me. Now after killing this guy, this starts the boss fight against Hermes. Now you need to be quick here, what you need to do is run to the four corners of the room and turn off these valves to shut off the gas. If you don't, this entire room will fill up with gas and your health will go down rapidly. So that's your top priority right now. Okay, that's three. One more. Okay, we turned off the gas. Now we just need to avoid Hermes. He'll be moving around the room through the grating and firing his toxic gas at you. So just try to avoid him. Now he'll move from vent to vent. 
So what we need to do is start closing the vents. We'll start with this one over here. We need to shoot this rope to close this one. I'm here in the basement of the lighthouse for a reason. It's the one place the beacon can't illuminate. So you can either shoot the rope or blow it up. Okay, that breaks that one, so that one's closed. Now let's close this one over here to shoot these crates. Okay, that's two closed. Okay, he's over there. Over the years, every form of human killing has found its place. I envy you. Because you get to revisit Okay, now to close this one, you need to shoot this rope. This will drop this crate to block this one. So that's three of them blocked. Now we're going to use this steel crate to block the one in the middle. That wasn't good enough. Okay, there's only two grates open now. The one in front of the furnace, and the one with that dead body on it. Just wait for him to get lined up in front of the furnace here, and turn this valve. This will blow him into the furnace. Now you need to quickly run over and close the door to lock him in there. And this will be the end of the boss fight against Hermes. And this unlocks a new archive page. Hermes. Since the Cataclysm, I have several times found myself mysteriously surrounded by noxious green fumes. I have fled in each case, and I think if I had not, I might not be alive to write this now. Within the gas, I have seen a humanoid who seemed to take great joy in the prospect of my death. Could this be Hermes, Abbott's resident executioner for several decades? If I recall, he took his own life in the gas chamber. Now after defeating Hermes, this gate will fall down, opening up this path for us to go. And over here is a ladder. Once we climb up the ladder, that will start the next level, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. And this will be the end of the suffering, level 18, single bullet theory.